believe we are just days away from ringing in the new year. New Year's Eve celebrations across Hampton Roads are preparing to return after being put on hold last year thanks to the pandemic. But people have mixed feelings about this, whether to celebrate at home or with others because of COVID-19. With that, let's bring in News 3 anchor Zach Dahlheimer. All right, so Zach, a lot of people excited to see the celebrations return. I mean, especially after just put on pause because of the pandemic, including, you know, the celebrations that used to be a town center. Right. I mean, guys, we're talking two years in the making, including last night on the town that's set to go forward as planned. Same with New Year's Eve live with Norfolk's Waterside District. Now, organizers with last night on the town at town center tell me they're following guidelines with the city of Virginia Beach, which is in line with the state and the CDC. Now, I talked with folks tonight who were split on whether to go out this Friday and celebrate. We're also hearing from Dr. Anthony Fauci on his recommendation for New Year's get togethers. I'm excited to be out and about with people doing anything, anything now. For Mary Glenn Huffman, it's been a long time coming. Three years to be exact since she last went out to celebrate New Year's Eve. It's been a long time inside. But this year is different. I'm going to a square dance. She's excited to see celebrations, including last night on the town in Virginia Beach and New Year's Eve live in Norfolk return to Hampton Roads. It's kind of exciting, just as long as people are sensible. I think it's great. They're they're opening back up, getting things going. John Winslow is also happy to see celebrations come back. Stay safe. If you have a bad immune system, don't come out. Stay home. If you feel good, do it. Have fun. Rock on 2022. I would recommend strongly stay away from that this year. Meanwhile, Dr. Anthony Fauci suggests no large crowds for New Year's. You're talking about a New Year's Eve party. We have 30, 40, 50 people celebrating. You do not know the status of their vaccination. I mean, I understand people want to get out and be normal again, but it's still happening, so it's not worth it. Lori Jordan agrees with Fauci. She says she'll be celebrating 2022 at home with family due to COVID concerns. Almost lost my mom and I, I had it really bad and it's it was a big, big to do. Well, we're all vaccinated, but you can still get it and spread it to people that aren't vaccinated. Meanwhile, a spokesperson for Governor Northam's office tells us he doesn't anticipate any policy changes ahead of New Year's Eve when asked about guidance regarding gatherings, saying, quote, everyone knows what to do at this point. Get vaccinated and get a booster shot. 15 million shots have been given in Virginia this year. If you've chosen not to get your shots, you need to stay away from other people to protect them and yourself. My wife is immunocompromised, so we have to take that into account. Caleb Jones says he's celebrating close to home with his wife this year. He believes celebrations are good as long as folks remain safe heading into the new year. When people are vaccinated and they feel comfortable. I, I don't cast any aspersions for them being able to go to an event like that. That's cool. I think everybody just kind of needs to gauge what's best for them. And guys, I want to show you this over here next to me. These are holiday celebrations tips and special events tips from the Virginia Department of Health. Let's go ahead and give you a closer look right there on your screen. Here's their top holiday tips. Get vaccinated and your booster if you're eligible. Wear a mask in public indoor spaces. Gather outside or in well-ventilated areas. Stay at home and get tested if you're having any COVID symptoms. And wash your hands frequently, including before and after preparing food. Now, when it comes to celebrating at home with people you live with, VDH officials consider that a low risk activity. Meanwhile, indoor gatherings with folks from different homes who are fully vaccinated and outdoor gatherings with individuals from different homes where everyone may not be vaccinated, that's considered medium risk. Zach Dahlheimer, News 3.